Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. Welcome back and here's another look at your forecast. So we have a beautiful view on this Monday morning and it's feeling great outside. Hopefully you enjoyed the beautiful weather over the weekend with all the activities and festivities that were going on. I showed pictures of these deep fried strawberries that I tried. I showed that in my previous forecast and I'll have that picture posted on my social media. And again, if you have great weather pictures that you would like to send in, you can email those to me at a Renee at brproud.com and I'll be happy to show them on air and on Line. But it's 61 degrees now. We see those pretty sunrise colors. So we'll have another pretty day ahead, but we will have more clouds moving in gradually throughout our Monday. It's 62 in New Road, 66 in Morgan City, and 63 in New Iberia. Yesterday, we reached a high temp of 85 degrees, and we'll still be pretty warm for today with highs also in the mid 80s range. So looking at your Monday planner, our winds won't be too breezy for today. They'll be out of the south around 10 miles per hour. So that'll be a light warm breeze for us, but we are looking at dry conditions for your Monday. Another good day to try to take your lunch break outside or walk outside, walk your dog or just get in some exercise and just enjoy the great conditions. But again, we will have partly cloudy skies and highs will be in the mid 80s. Now moving forward, we'll have more clouds moving in during the overnight hours. So we're looking at mostly cloudy skies for tonight and our overnight lows will be in the mid 60s. So Tuesday morning will also be a little warm as you're beginning your day. We have a low of 66 for Baton Rouge, Gonzales, 64 for Liberty, and 63 for Macomb. And then your Tuesday planner, our winds will be a little bit more breezy for tomorrow. Winds will be out of the south southeast direction around 15 miles per hour. So that's still, of course, that warm air pushing into our area. That's helping our temperatures to still stay a little bit higher and helping those dew points to rise a little bit more as well. So these previous days, last few days, it didn't feel too humid outside, but we will feel it a little bit more as we go through this week. And high will be in the mid 80s for tomorrow, 85 for Baton Rouge, Denham Springs, 83 for Liberty and also Woodville. Now looking at your three day forecast, highs will be in the mid 80s for Wednesday, Thursday as well. Rain chances are slim between tomorrow and Wednesday, but we'll have this weak front approaching the area. So as we go into Wednesday morning, we may see a stray shower or two over our area. It looks like the northernmost section, but I'm just expecting us to have a mostly dry day for your Wednesday. But then going into Thursday, our rain chances will be just a tad bit higher. So Thursday morning should be dry, but we could see some scattered showers as we head into Thursday afternoon and Thursday night. Night. Then that will be clearing out and we'll have drier conditions for your Friday, but then a cold front will be on the way over the weekend and we'll see rain chances going up again as we'll have some showers moving in with this front. So 20% chance for your Saturday, mainly for the evening hours, and then we're looking at scattered showers for Sunday, a 60% chance for that day. So rain could occur on and off between your Sunday morning through Sunday evening before it clears out. Now our estimated rainfall totals are between a quarter of an inch and half of an inch over our area for the next few days. But just to recap, with a look at your seven day forecast, staying warm for pretty much all of this work week. Then once that cold front moves out over the weekend, we'll have a slight cool down with highs in the upper 70s on Sunday and Monday.